Hey everybody, Longbox of Affair here. I have a garage sale haul. Actually, a couple. I have some some eBay things, uh, some uh, a con that I stumbled upon in New Jersey, a New Jersey expo, and um, these are some garage sale books. And um, it's just been long overdue. I started. These are probably from late September through uh, the past couple weeks. Um, so let me jump into the garage sale, and these were about a buck each, um, maybe slightly less, uh, about a buck each. Um, so some good things. Um, uh, Psylocke number two, a cool David Finch cover, not the number one, which is really the money book. Um, Marvel Milestone number one, uh, or uh, I mean, it's Spider-Man number one, uh, Mar Marvel Milestone edition. So these were cool to have, sort of the precursor to the facsimile editions that they have. A new stand edition of Spider-Man number 12, the McFarlane cover. Uh, this is actually one of the first Spider-Man books I ever had. Uh, I bought it at the comic shop and it's how I got introduced to Wolverine. So uh, just little known fact. And then uh, number 11 as well, uh, new stand. Just pick these up whenever I find them. The nostalgia factor for me is really cool. I was surprised to find this and I swiped it up. A really nice cop copy of Avengers JLA number four. It has Superman and um, uh, holding the Captain America shield and Mjolnir, uh, however you say that. A really uh, tight, tight binding, uh, not bent at all, uh, George Perez cover. Murph and Nader had a, a really cool version of this signed in, in New Jersey. Um, I found this, Ultimates number one. Surprised I found this for a buck. It's a great spec book. Uh, people are saying that this might be a team in the movies. I think that's a long way off, but it's a, a nice spec. Uh, let's see. Two newsstand copies of JLA, or Justice League 69, uh, the Doomsday Saga. And these are first print. I was surprised to find this. The Eternals, number five, for a buck. And this was a hot book when they announced Angelina Jolie was in the movie. Uh, I'm not sure what actual character she's playing, and I really don't know the Eternals at all, so it's cool to have this book. Uh, another Death of Superman, uh, Justice League 70 newsstand edition. I always just pick those up if I can find them. And then some Thors. So the Mighty Thor 440. I also bought 438. This might be the first future Thor. I'm not sure. Uh, I'd have to do some look into this, but it's the Thor War Part 1 and Part 3. Just cool Thor covers. Um, I'm not sure who the artist is. Looks like Friends and Milgram. And then I bought two copies of Deathmate Black. For a buck, why not? Cool Jim Lee and Mark Silvestri artwork. And then Ultimates number two. There is a first appearance in this, and I can't remember whose first appearance, but it was some relevance. Um, so cool to pick that up. I've had that copy on and off over the years. Um, and then, uh, so an eBay purchase, I just had to get this killer, killer Art Adams Ghost Rider 1 cover. This was a priority for me. Just love that artwork. It's it's just beautiful. I don't know if I'll have them sign it one day or not, but um, it's a really cool cover. Uh, and then I stumbled, I was in Jersey a couple weekends ago um, around Columbus Day, and, and I realized by looking through Craigslist that there was a Comic-Con. It was free, it was in this like community center, uh, and I said, what the heck, why not? And so I didn't buy a whole lot, uh, but I did buy a copy of Uncanny X-Men 221, which I've been buying when every time I find it for uh, 30 bucks or less, especially in decent condition. And this is definitely near mint um, and probably a 9A category or candidate. Um, let's see what else. I bought a black cover of Midnight Massacre, Ghost Rider 40. Um, this was a second copy. I, I had another one that I took to Baltimore Comic Con and had Mark Teixeira uh, do a Ghost Rider in silver on, which turned out killer. Check out my Instagram if you haven't seen that yet. Um, so that, that was awesome. And then uh, I found two copies for a dollar each. Um, well, first, 
found uh, the Spider-Man 15 newsstand for a dollar. Cool Eric Larson cover. Really do like that cover. Um, I remember buying that off the news shelf. And then I found Morbius 31 and 32. And this is the last issue, I believe. And I think both of these are hard to find. So I just picked these up in anticipation of the movie. Might be worth um, holding on to or selling at some point. But I think this is a Bill Sinkovitz cover. Um, really cool, cool cover. Uh, and then the rest, I didn't buy at that con, but just to show um, about an X-Men 240, a minty copy of Inferno, uh, bought a Marvel Premiere 45, Manwolf. This is the first appearance of this version of Manwolf and the other world, I believe. Um, just freaky, why not? And then I, just for the hell of it, Cap Wolf. Uh, Captain America 405. I think this is his first appearance as Cap Wolf. Uh, so that's the haul. It wasn't uh, a huge spectacular haul, but it definitely had some key moments in it, some things I wanted to show off uh, in a really quick order. So thanks everyone for watching. Thanks for sticking with the channel. Uh, if you are new to me, please subscribe. Also comment and like uh, down below. I appreciate all, all of that feedback. So thanks a lot, everyone. Take care. Bye-bye.